Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of exponential regression, specifically how we can use technology to help us write exponential functions, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So sometimes we are given just a list of coordinates here. We have an x and an f of x here, and we need to turn this into something that resembles an exponential function. So remember, this is y equals a times b to the x. And so these two terms here, right, this a term can be principal if we are dealing with investment or compound interest. Most of us will just probably remember this as the initial or the starting amount, how much we're starting with something, uh, whether it's bacteria or population growth. This also helps us think of it as the y-intercept. Now this is the y-intercept because that's where the function crosses the graph, uh, the y-axis of the graph, when x equals 0. Let's take a look what happens when I do this. I'm going to substitute in 0 for that x. So it's a times b to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is simply 1, so it's a times 1. So y equals a when x equals 0. So I don't have an x equals 0. That would kind of fit a little bit underneath here. But it looks like this is an, an increasing graph here. As, as my x's increase, so do my f of x's. And that's going to really help us kind of determine what this b is going to be. This is our rate. So this is a growth rate if this b term is greater than 1. This is a decay rate if it is less than 1. And since this is increasing here, the f of x's are increasing, we know that our uh, b is going to be greater than 1. So I know that it's going to be y equals a is going to be somewhere between 0 and 10. Um, and so it's going to be between, I'll just put 0 and 10, and we know that this b term is going to be greater than 1 because it's increasing, and then we'll take it to the x power. That's really all that we can do here. Even if we wanted to try to plot these points here, uh, right, we know that uh, 1, 10, even if we wanted to try to graph it, right, let's say that's 110, let's say that's 223, uh, and then the rest, just unless the scale gets really weird, it's kind of off. We just, we don't have anything for sure. That's where we need to bring in our calculator. So we're going to use our TI-84 graphing calculator. Before we do anything with this exponential regression, we're going to hit second catalog. It's actually, it's the zero button is what we hit. But to get that catalog, we want to turn our diagnostic on. Same thing when we do the quadratic regression. So diagnostic is on. Now we're going to hit that stat button. We're going to hit the stat and we're going to edit because we need to enter in these lists. So we're just going to go down here and hit 1, and then 2, 4, 5, 7. So we're just taking in our, x, our x's, that's going to be list 1. We're taking our f of x's, that's going to be list 2. You want to make sure you hit all of these correctly because if you enter any of these incorrectly, obviously, we're going to have an issue. So we're going to hit stat. Now we're going to go over to hit the right. So we're going to take that top tab and move it over to calc. Go all the way down to zero. We've got exponential regression. So exponential regression is going to take your x's as your list one, which we've already done, your y's as your list two, which we've already done. You're just going to scroll down to calculate. Now this is all it's going to get you, but remember, this is what we were looking for. So this is in y equals a times b to the x. So our a equals, we'll call it 4.37. Right? We knew it was going to be between 0 and 10. And we knew that our b was going to be greater than 1. They say it's going to be, let's round it to the hundredths, 2.31 to the x. So there we go. That is an exponential function that we could use to show this data. And if we were to punch it in, to the calculator, we could see a graph similar to this.